Just fine, thanks. How are things going with your paper? Mm. I continue reading, like a lot, because on the argument, uh -huh. I you suggest me to look for the counterpart of the social cultural theory, and I look for the behavior theory, the behaviorism. Okay. But I was like now finding the conne the connection between social cultural and Behavioral. Behavior theory. Uh -huh. However, I I found very interesting ideas and things. Okay. Well, can I read some quotes? Sure, here? sure. Yeah. It says, roles serve as a scaffolding and should be dropped when they are no longer necessary. So, I imagine myself like developing the behavior theory and present the roles, well, the importance of literature circles and the importance of the roles. Okay. Then on the social cultural theory, present, well, the theory, and also present that uh, literature circles can be like presented in a much more open way <coughs> in which students can mm, express what they know well. I have another quote. It says, newer forms or literature circles eliminate the use of roles and change the preparation, the preparatory process for discussion. Roles are discarded for authentic preparatory methods such as generating questions, identifying interesting texts, and encouraging all students to participate in discussion without restriction. So. For me, that may be like a much more social cultural uh, application of the literature circles. Right. So, hey, are you are you wanting to include literature circles in each of the theories, or do you want to include it at the end? Because we talked last session about one or the other. You can either try to write and talk about uh, this activity uh -huh. within each theory, uh -huh. or leave it towards the end and discuss it in terms of the theory that you've already presented. There's there's two ways. Um, it doesn't really matter which way you do it, but if you, uh, if you, it sounds like now you want to include this in each of the sections. So to just make like sure that you, relation. Okay, just make sure that you have uh, citations, uh -huh. authors that Support it because you're asking now, like you, you don't know if it goes in this theory or not. But my point, what I'm saying is, try to find authors who specifically state that literature circles is part of scaffolding or mediation or social cultural theory or behavioralism uh -huh. or s stimulus and response or whatever. Uh -huh. But that is fairly obvious which theory. It is, instead mm -hmm. of you kind of assuming or just, I mean, you don't want to, if they don't mention anything about the theory, mm -hmm. right, you, you want to try to find authors who connect the theory with the, the practice, with, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. Okay, now if you say that you can't find a lot about a lot of information about that, then just talk about the theory, uh -huh. and, and then at the end, discuss the uh, this uh -huh. uh, literature circles uh -huh. and relate to whatever that you talked about uh -huh. but more it would be less okay so it would be it just depends on how much information you find mm -hmm. that specifically links literature circles to a theory mm -hmm. so well i i was looking like for a lot of uh, uh, sources <coughs> And I found some interesting, but these ones uh, took my attention, and because it links what I, what I want to express. Okay. And also show me that maybe only presenting the roles to the, on the activity are like is like, limiting students. Maybe it's a good activity, at the beginning, but through a process, uh, the students 
uh, understand that that's just like a role and they okay. can express they can use language and they can learn through through the freedom okay instead of if if they are like just reading or mm -hmm. looking for words or right. isolated uh, objectives okay is it like much more like, in, like collaborative integ 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 integrated. Integrated. okay uh, it's a colla okay. collaborative uh, what's the word <laughs> collaborative learning or yeah Col okay. collaborative learning okay yeah. okay I mean that's fine um, yeah I'd like to see it kind of in your literature review <laughs> here so we can kind of look I at <laughs> yeah um, is this are these your notes here yes Okay. The the citations in in red were like doubtful to continue on the paragraph. Ah, okay. The yellow ones, I was just checking that they are on the references. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, did you have any specific questions about any of the text that you've uploaded here in your literature review? Mm. I don't see your thesis statement. Have you included your thesis statement? Or is that is that this right here? I think it is was part of the end. Uh -huh. ah, okay, so you have your introduction. Uh -huh. Okay, and then and then you're going to develop. Is, uh -huh, the behavior theory I didn't develop. Are you talking about behaviorism? Mm -hmm. The Skinner. Okay, uh, behavior. Come talk the verbal. What is the name? Of the theory? Verbal. Conduction, conduction is not something like that. Because you might, you know, you can call this behaviorism mm -hmm. instead of behavior theory. Behaviorism. Behaviorism, which is a theory, which mm -hmm. is a learning theory. Yes. Um, and I was looking for it, and I didn't find like one one uh, road by Skinner. But I found <coughs> reviews by Chomsky about the behaviorism and reviews well, from other authors. Because Chomsky would be more like the cognitivism. Uh -huh. So just be careful not to mix your theories. If you're talking about behaviorism, okay. If you're talking about cogni cognitivism, that's another learning theory. Mm -hmm. um, and so just. All right. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think uh, did you? If you don't, do you have any specific questions you want to talk about today, as far as what you have here, or any doubts that you have about how you want to organize your literature review? So that was the thing I I want to present to you the idea of including literature circles in within <coughs> the uh, behaviorism and the social cultural theory and then included in the activity theory yeah it, it, it's um, which is going to help me to measure the information and let me you really you it's up to you I mean if you don't have a lot of information mm -hmm. you can save it at the end mm -hmm. and talk about each of the learning theories with regard to this uh, th theory, if you if you think you have you know more information that you want to talk about, then maybe you want to include it in each of the sections. But it's really up to you. It depends on how much information um, you know, how much information that you have that links theory specifically to literature service. Mm -hmm. So I, I, mean, it's I well, I have one question. Uh, on the next week, on Wednesday, is the deadline for the literature review, or no, the twenty eighth. The twenty eighth. Yeah. So you'll have we'll have our tutoring sessions as normal, and in your case, we'll have our session on Wednesday, and you'll still have a couple of days to uh -huh. finish. Good. Everybody who has their literature, their tutoring session on Friday, that that'll be due the same day as the tutoring uh -huh. session. So, but they'll have the rest of the day after the tutoring session to complete. Uh, the literature review. So you'll have the entire day until basically midnight mm -hmm. to complete 
the literature review. Okay, and after that, I well, the changes of the literature review may not have like any improvement on the grades. Uh, well, not not really. If uh, because the the way I'm grading is mm -hmm. that each of the sections, the literature review, the method section, the results and discussion section. If you look in um, Canvas, mm -hmm. you'll notice the points that are allotted for each of those is fairly small. Let's look at assignments. Mm -hmm. So here you'll see literature review, there's five points. Okay, mm -hmm. You get two points for each week in the reflections, five points for literature review, three points for the instrument design. But you'll notice here that the first draft, you have 12 points. So, so let's say that you need to make a lot of changes for your literature review and, and uh, because it will continue being on development, I think. So. Right. So, so this final draft, I'm going to be looking again at the literature review, at the whole thing, basically. That is aligned with the collection. And right. The basically everything. Uh -huh. And this has tw this is 12 points. This is mm -hmm. a big, big, big chunk of. So let, if you know, if you make the modifications, uh, from your literature review, this will greatly impact. This this first this uh, first draft, which is counts for a lot more of your grade. So I am giving you time to, and and I you will be as part of your grade able to improve your writing, okay. But not necessarily the individual. This will be just at this time. Uh, I'll be assessing your work mm -hmm. here. Um, but make those changes because that will affect your first draft, which accounts for a lot more of the weight here. Uh, you have your thesis, you have your reflections uh, that are worth 11 uh, points here. So, I mean, if you look at the weight distribution here in your reflections, this won't count for a big part of your grade. This is five points out of, uh, well, I don't have the total here, I, uh, but it's, it's, a small it's a small percentage mm -hmm. of the total points uh, for for this okay so um, you try your best to do the best uh, literature that's that's why it helps you know during these sessions and throughout the week that you if you want me to look at something mm -hmm. you know now and that we talk about how you want to organize that you get it as good as you can get it this first time around that's why I continue looking for information because I was like okay I have these from the last semester but it's not like what I want to express this semester. Okay. And I read, and now I I know what. I pretty much have much more information, and I open much more my eyes. Yeah. And I realize that with adults or proficient students, maybe assign a role, maybe good, maybe would be good for once to model the activity, but later on they can relate. Uh, the readings to their experience or to something they discover on the reading, something uh -huh. important. So the roles are like, how can I say it, are not very important anymore. They are like just over there to delimitate. Okay. Yeah, no, but that's, that's fine. I'm just, um, Try to upload as much as you can between now and, and next yes. week, mm -hmm. and then I can we can talk again, or you know, uh, or send me an email mm -hmm. if you want me to make comments before, mm -hmm. um, so we can get it as close as possible for for the 28th of February. I hope to send you like a draft or something in Friday. It won't okay. be any problem or. Yeah, I mean, you you just send me an email mm -hmm. on Canvas when you want me to look at something in particular, or if you want, you know, you tell me what you want me to look at, and each two, the next tutoring session, we'll I'll pull up your literature review and and continue, you know, mm -hmm. to give you feedback, right, um, about you know regarding what you know the work that you have completed up to that point. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you don't have any other questions, um, just continue uploading and yeah, just send me an email on Canvas at, uh, if you, you know, when you want me to look at something. Mm -hmm. And all my uh, feedback will be provided in, in Canvas. One question I have is, did I, do I have to use vocabulary <coughs> only related to the theory? For example, if I'm talking about the behaviorism, I should include obviously the vocabulary related to the behavior theory, including, for example, in the part in which I talk about literature review, the <laughs> literature circles, sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, the theory should relate so in some way to literature One circles. Uh -huh. All right, so you're you're going to look for the most important theoretical concepts and talk about their relationships between mm -hmm. themselves, between the theoretical uh, concepts themselves, and some relationship to this activity. Mm -hmm. So the relationships are both among the concepts themselves, the theoretical concepts, as well as the, the activity theory, mm -hmm. or the, the literature, the, the literature circle, <laughs> okay. that, you know, the activity that you want to, to do. Okay. So it's both kind of a theoretical relationships and theoretical to practical relationships, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Right, and, and part of the, I, I'm, I bet that some of the experts will also, some of the evidence that you provide from the experts will also make that clear. They will also be talking about the theory and some sort of practical a a application problem. Mm -hmm. So that practical a application may not be called specifically literature circles, but it's your job to see that, okay, they don't call it literature circles, but it applies because, you know, it's this type of interaction or this type of communication or this type of language development, okay? And so that there is a link there, even though they don't maybe specifically refer to it as literature circles. But uh, what, you, what you want to try to do is draw relationships. And, and again, I go back to forming an argument, and you know this is how you want to organize, trying to make sense of these claims and show different you know, uh, perspectives, mm -hmm. saying, you know, all of... Whatever theory or concept that you discuss, even scaffolding, there are limitations. It's not all good. It's not all this is the way it is. That there's always another perspective, another way of seeing that. So you want to do your best to try to show both of those perspectives. To say, okay, maybe it's good, but there's also this other perspective that counters your original argument. Okay. So, but... That's the idea. Thank you, teachers. Okay. No, you're welcome. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep keep reading, keep writing. writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, uh, just send me an email if you you know want me to look at something before your next tutoring session. Otherwise, we'll we'll discuss next week uh, what you have. Okay. And uh, keep making changes. Thank you. All right. Yes. All right. Have a good week. Good week. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Bye.